Not from not from like a on the field perspective, but from a vibes and a culture. Who are we missing most? Like, there's no way we miss PQ. Like, there's just no way. <laughs> Dude, what's up with PQ? PQ has been talking. I don't know if these quotes are real or fake. It's like the whole summer. He went from dang. talking shit on the Ravens to food. The food in Baltimore sucks. Like, he's just doing a whole thing. I kind of love it. I mean, I I I guess that quote was true. I mean. I don't even understand why he had to go in on Baltimore like that. The city's, the Pittsburgh, the city's better. The food's better. The color's better. I'm like, golly, what? Goodness gracious. Like, what? so I don't know what PQ got going on. I know he's happy over there. Good. I did, I did check in on my guy. But I will say this. I, I like I said, hey, I'm, I'm not hating on Pittsburgh. I'm not hating on PQ. But I've been at the Ravens for a while. I've seen this same story go down with a lot of guys. It's the best place on earth. This new place I'm at. Oh, my gosh, dude. It's like, like the Ravens. Reality sets in eventually. Okay? Okay. I hope it, I hope it's great over there. I hope it's great over there. But, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm just saying, I've seen that once or twice. I don't know anybody that's went to Pittsburgh from the Ravens. So I can't say that it's going to be like that there. But I have seen this story. But, uh he seems to be happy over there. So, uh, shout out to. Well, actually, no, we're not going to shout him out. But I feel like I feel like you're in, enjoying being a Canadian, though. I like the Canadian life, bro. I, they're 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 pretty chill, very diverse. You know, coming from Alabama, I didn't really realize how black and white life really was. Then I go to Baltimore. It's not like super di- – it's definitely not diverse there, mainly African-Americans. But, like, you know, mainly still just, for the most part, you know, kind of black and white from where I'm at, from where I'm at. Then I go out there and I'm just like – It's crazy. We dude, were just it, in Toronto. It, they got everything. Dude, it's just weird for me to, like, be outside for 30 minutes and it's just like you've seen every single race. You've seen beautiful people, every single race. It's just – it's it's a lot of good-looking people there. Um I'm like just in general, no, we're not talking about ladies. I'm just in general, men, <laughs> women, you know, it, it's just, uh, but I, I like the, I like what I like about Canada. It's just the, the people are just seem like they're easy, more easygoing. That's kind of what I've, the vibe I've got. One of my most interesting stories when I knew the place was a little different was back when I was still in the streets. You know, this was, this was before, this might've been the night I met, the wife, actually. I can't remember. Anyway, we're at a club. I'm like, you know, in the line or whatever, and two dudes start beefing, like, da, 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 da. going at it. I'm like, this finna be a fight. You know, this this finna be, I knew, Canada, you can't be holding guns like that. So I'm like, this finna be a fight. You know what I'm saying? That you're watching. If there's no guns, you're sticking around. You're I'm watching. sticking around. You know, if it's, you know, it's guns, you know, in America, you like, might need to get away. Next thing you know, the dudes just hug it out. I was like, I was like, I've never seen two people get that mad and no fight and just hug it out. And I was like, man, this this place is a little bit different than most. And looking back, looking back at it now, we don't got to fight each other, man. We all we got to do is love each other, man. So that's what I like about Canada. They be chilling. Their a little. Their food is a little uh, poutine. Their main thing is not yeah. it. I, I'm not a poutine guy. It's just not. You know what's interesting? Would you say that America has like a go to dish? Like poutine is the national dish. Like in America, we go city by city. But like it's city by yeah. If, no. if you if you if someone came to America and we're like, I'm gonna go get the most American thing. Is it a, like a cheeseburger? Like, what is it? The first thing that came to mind was cheeseburger. But I don't want to say that's... But it kind of is. City by city, though, it's definitely... Every city has their yeah their thing. For it. But you're right. If you came to America, I think it might be... Ch- it's kind of it sounds... steak? Weird. It's not steak, is it? Ribs? Like, nah, we didn't... No, nah, that's too that. south. Yeah, that's yeah. too... It's definitely... It, universally in the States... I mean, just in America, I think it's I think it's got to be a cheeseburger, bro. <laughs> Low key might be a hot dog. Like I, I feel like other countries they don't eat hot dogs. Like they eat sausage. It's got to be a hot dog or hamburger. I feel like 
That's kind of yeah. lame, though. Dang, I don't like that action. Terrible. Yeah, like that action. teams got action. Anyways, uh, I didn't even have to ask what's on your mind. It just comes out naturally when we get the cameras rolling. But let's dive into it on this episode. We're going to talk about so much. We got a lot of catching up to do. Did you just come from minicamp? Yep. Just came back from minicamp. It was uh, it was good getting all the guys back together. All the Ravens flocked back together. I did, I did day one, and I took, you know, Two vet rest days. I'm I'm kind of on the NBA routine sometimes, so took two rest days. But man, it uh, I'm excited, man. I'm excited, man. I, I skinny Lamar is a different look. I've I've had to get used to that a little bit. It's uh, I didn't really recognize him, even though I played with Derek at Bama. I forgot how massive he is, like as a normal person. You know, like in pads, anyone can look. Big. Yeah. You know, people tell me, bro, you're way smaller than what I thought. I'm like, well, I don't walk around with shoulder pads on and a helmet. <laughs> so, like, you know, leave me alone. But Derek is, he's a very, and I don't do pause, so he's just a very large human. Yeah. Did and, you guys, uh, did you settle the beef? I mean, he lied to you the last time we talked. Did you guys talk through that? Like, your teammates <laughs> now, I feel like trust needs to be taken in. He, he he for some reason thought I'd come to the pod and tell it. And honestly, I probably would have. I'm just going to I would have for sure leaked it on pod. So, I don't really blame him, but we do got some things like honestly, I think I'm just going to hit him in training camp and send my message that way with yeah. my with my pads like I know best. Yeah. I feel kind of good saying that. Yeah. So that's that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to be like, "Oh, bro, it's all good." When the pads come on. <clears throat> but other than that, it's cool, man. I, I like uh, – I love the team. I'll be honest with you. I love the Dagum team. 